Have you ever seen a medical drama where a villain tries to end someone by injecting air into their IV line? It's a classic trope. But is it actually as deadly as they make it seem? Could a tiny bubble of air in your veins really kill you? Let's find out. First, let's clear the air, so to speak. The small bubbles you might see in an IV drip at the hospital are generally harmless. Our bodies are pretty resilient and can usually absorb and dissolve these tiny amounts of air without any issue. Your circulatory system is a champ at handling minor imperfections. So a few tiny bubbles? No need to panic. The real danger comes from a much larger volume of air being injected quickly. This is where things get serious. Large, continuous injection of air can form a significant bubble, a condition known as an air embolism. Think of it like a stubborn roadblock in your body's super high with a circulatory system. This bubble can travel through your veins and reach critical areas. If it travels to your heart, it can get lodged in one of the chambers or valves, blocking blood from being pumped out. This can lead to a sudden drop in blood pressure and potentially cause cardiac arrest. It's like putting a cork in the main engine of your body. If the air bubble manages to bypass the heart and lungs, it can travel up to the brain. Once there, it can block one of the narrow arteries that supply oxygen-rich blood to your brain tissue. This blockage is essentially a stroke. Deprived of oxygen, brain cells begin to die within minutes, which can lead to permanent brain damage, disability, or even death. The symptoms can appear almost instantly. Sudden dizziness, confusion, loss of consciousness, or chest pain. So while those tiny bubbles in a hospital for are nothing to lose sleep over, a deliberate injection of a large amount of air is incredibly dangerous and can absolutely be fatal. The TV shows aren't entirely wrong on this one. It creates a medical emergency that blocks vital blood flow, leading to catastrophic consequences like a heart attack or a stroke. It's a powerful reminder that while air is essential for breathing, it has no business being inside our bloodstream. Thanks for watching. If you found this dive into medical facts fascinating, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos that unravel the mysteries of the human body. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.